This is the most famous socket you are seeing right now. You can see this socket in every building's homes and many other places. It looks stylish, it's cheap and easy to install and it's every people's choice to buy this socket. This is 13M 3-pin GTAP Snyder Electric socket. This video is about to review this socket. Welcome to Easy Electrical Fix and let's start it. This is Snyder Electric Vivas 3-pin 13M switch socket. It's a one gang switch socket and it's the material of the frame and the socket is made of polycarbonate and the terminals are made of copper brasses and it's a one switch to control one socket over here. And this is how the Snyder Electric Vivas one gang switch socket look like front and behind and these are the two poles and one earth terminal and the socket is a wall mounted type socket. This is the G type socket. It only has three terminal. Earth neutral and life. As you see in the corner of the socket, you see the brand name Snyder Electric printed on the socket frame. As you see clearly over here. This is the switch for the socket. The red line shows the socket is in operating mode when it's on and when the switch is closed, the socket will be off. So this is how the socket work. When on off repeatedly with the switch, the switch perform very well and have a good grip inside the fixed contact and the moving contact of the socket. This socket can separate it into two. One is the frame, one is the socket body. And this is the frame. This frame is attached to the socket body and this is the space over here to separate the socket body and the frame. The operating voltage of the socket is 250 volt AC and the operating current is 13 amps and the frequency is 50 hertz. The width and the height of the socket is 87 mm by 87 mm so let's deep dive inside the socket and how it works to separate the socket body and the frame use the test pen or a small screwdriver slot the small screwdriver and make a bend and the frame and the socket body will be separate and this is how look like when the socket body and the frame is separated at the screw hole this round metal is connected to the earth terminal and the other side of the screw hole don't have and these holes are made to hold the frames. As you see here, these holes are perfectly aligned to the frame. So it can hold the socket body and the frame very tight and strong. At the back of the socket body, there are three terminal connections. One is earth, neutral and life. As you see here, there is a terminal identifier there. Also written the symbol of earth, life and neutral connections. So there's also written E is for earth. N is for neutral and L is for life. This terminal identifier is very useful to connect the right wire to the right terminal. The brand Snyder Electric also is printed on the socket body as you see here, both in the frame and the socket body. These are the metal bar is connected to the screw hole there. And this, this is the metal bar here is connected inside the earth terminal and outside the screw hole over here. This is the terminal screw and the terminal screw is a Philip up terminal screw. To unscrew the terminal screw, the Philip tap screwdriver need to be used. This is the Philip tap screw I'm going to use. And as you see here, the Philip tap screw can easily go into the terminal screw. The unscrew process is very smooth. As you see here, when look closely to the terminal there, there's a plenty of room to do the loopings. For 1.5 mm can do looping up to three wires. For 2.5 mm wire can do up to two wires. The screw and unscrew process for three terminals can be done easily and very smooth. When unscrew the terminal screw for too long, eventually the screw will come out. And this is the disadvantage for this socket. The socket body of the surface inside is very rough as you see here. It can give a good grip between the wall and the socket surface. To see how the socket works when the switch is on and off for the socket, let's dismantle the socket by unscrewing the three screw. After unscrewing the screw and turn the socket upright and slowly move the socket cover very carefully and now the socket cover and the switches terminal are separated. Now you can have a look closely all the terminals, the switch and the cover also can be seen. This is the screw hole bar are connected to the earth terminal as mentioned before. These are the two slots for life neutral and this screw hole bar can take out and as you see here these are the design and it can put it back together with the earth terminal there and this is how it look like the 
covered with the screw hole bar terminal. Now you can have a look close to the terminals and the switches there. So these are the tension springs that I allow the plug go through inside the life neutral earth slots. And you can see the life neutral earth slot can be seen. And this tension spring can be moved up and down for many times. Now all the terminals are clearly visible as you see here. The earth terminal, the neutral terminal and the life terminal. As you see closely over here, there is a moving contact and the fixed contact. The moving contact are attached to the switch and the fixed contact are attached to the life terminal bar over there. When I on off the switch repeatedly, you can see the fixed contact and moving contact are having a good connection between them as you clearly see here. When the switch on and off process happen, the current from the wire will go to the moving contact first. When the switch is on, the moving contact will connect to the fixed contact and the current will flow through the terminal bar over there and travel through the socket from the outgoing connection. Now it's time to put back the socket together. Now place the socket terminal and the cover closely and insert the switch carefully as you see here and move it to the cover and now it's time to screw all the screw back together. And now the socket is back to normal and now the socket going to test by fixing on the PVC box and on the wall. Now this is the standard size 3x3 PVC base over here. I'm going to fix the Snyder Viva socket onto it and place on top the PVC base. Use the screw and put inside the screw hole at the socket and perfectly align to the PVC box. After that, use the Phillips screwdriver and screw it to the PVC box until the socket fixed to the PVC box. Once the screw is done, and this is how it look like after the socket fixed to the PVC box here. And last but not least, put the frame on top of the socket and press like that. And this is how it look like when this socket is fixed to the PVC box. Now it's time to fix the socket on the wall. The supplies are turned off and the wire is pretty safe to connect with the socket. And now let's get started. Now unscrew the terminal as wide as it can and insert the wire according to the terminal identifier earth, life and neutral insert the wire inside the terminals and use the Phillips screwdriver and make a tight connection at the terminal now as you can see here by the sideways all the terminal all the wires are connected to the terminal over there so last but not least there's a one life wire connection need to be connected and screw the terminal and make a tight connection and this is how it look like after the all three wires are connected to the terminal for this type of socket and this socket hold the wire very strong as you see here and it time to and it's time to fix it on the wall and now use the screw and screw it on the PVC box between the sockets and do the same step at the other side of the screw hole at the PVC box and screw it until the socket fix it on the wall and fix the socket cover on the socket and give a hard press and it firmly fix on the socket now the socket is perfectly fixed on the wall and the switch is working perfectly fine as you see here and this is the 3 pin plug here it grip it on the socket with the terminal there when I take out, it give a smooth release when I take out this 3 pin plug. As you see here, the switch also done a great job on off the socket. And this is the clear picture of the Snyder Electric 13M 3 pin socket VBUS. It's already connected, fixed on the wall and now it's ready to operate. Finally, the review is done for the 13M 3 pin G type Snyder Electric socket VBUS. This socket is very amazing and it's easy to install in many other surfaces. The starting price of the socket is 2 US dollar. It's very cheap and it's affordable and it's used to install in many places like buildings, homes and the stylish look of the socket is suitable for install in different styles of interior design in the home. But there is a disadvantage. This socket is a G-type socket and can be used in 
some region only this is because some countries use the different types of electrical system so it would not be available in every country if you want to know about the socket more in details there's a link in the description about this socket here finally this is the end of the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment down below what's the next socket review you want me to do thanks for watching